How's it going, everyone? Uh, welcome to episode 11.5 or episode 11.2 version 2. I don't know what to call it. Um, episode 11, yeah, we got a lot of stuff done, and I cannot find that file to save the life of me. Uh, we tamed a new Argent, we've got Superior Kibble going, we've got our crops, uh, yeah, we've got breeding going, I tamed another Argent and got this one, and yeah, I'm, and I am looking for that file. If I find that file, I will totally upload it. But yeah, this is, for the time being, this is episode 11. It was supposed to be episode 12, but it's gonna be 11 for the time being. Um, yeah. Well, this seals it. Just when I thought I'd made some sense of the notes I took while visiting the painted charts, I spotted the nail in the proverbial coffin. Roos. A whole herd of giant roos were just hopping about the countryside like they'd always be there. As much as I love roos, they just shouldn't be here. Period. They evolved in Oz and Oz only. 60 million years after the dinosaurs went extinct, among a bevy of other marsupials. If I know any genus, it's this one. And Prosoptodon should not exist here. This island isn't an ecosystem. It's a zoo. Oh, man. Terror birds with babies. I can't tap jars have babies. Oh, we got Microraptor. Oh, and they're aggroed on us. And I can't pick them up because they are just too stinking fast. Or did I pick it up? Oh, this is going to hurt. Yeah, get him! Get those little turds. Yeah. Oh my goodness, okay. So. Yeah, Microraptor. You can't pick them up. It's a shame. What's well, picking a fight with you? Oh, an Alpha Carno! And me. Alpha Carno, please be nice and let me get the kill. I could use the XP. level are you? 50. I'm going to give you a go. If I get micro-raptored here, I am dead. I 
You're not doing too. You're not able to do that much damage to me. And again, I have got a wicked good saddle on this guy that I looted from uh, a red drop on Carno Island. Yeah. It's like 200 something armor. It's insane. Oh, wow. Hello, bonus levels for us. No micro raptors come and ruin this. I know some of you are probably getting really dizzy. Oh my gosh, doing this. They're like, oh my gosh, you're just going around in circles after circle after circle. You're making me so dizzy. Oh my goodness, 23 levels. Get you a little bit of movement speed. Sure. And then we'll go wait. Wow. Oh, I'm dying. No, 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 no. No micro raptor. I should no micro raptor. Oh, seriously? You can fly up that high? Okay, fine. We're gonna fly over here where it's safe, away from that Spino. you micro raptors hey y'all can jump all the way up here now that is insane okay I am jumping all the way up here I'm flying all the way up here nowhere near the ground the fact that you jumped all the way up here and I do not have a parachute yeah that is very uh, concerning Throw that out. Oh my goodness. How much time do we have left? Not much. Um, but yeah, today we are just cruising with the Argent. Uh, I just want to see... What was that? Oh, that was Gallimimus. Uh, I want to see if there is anything uh, to tame. I want to see if we can find an aloe pack. Um, because uh, baby aloes are a thing. And if I can find a baby aloe to take home, uh, I will be very happy with that. I'm just saying. Okay, my armor's holding up pretty good. But this is good armor that I've got. Yeah. These loot drops are amazing. Nowadays. They are not the crap that they were on ASE. Where you had to get the deep sea loot crates to get uh, good loot. Yeah. No, this is... So much better than what it used to be. What is that? As a Lystrosaurus. Just chilling out in the water. 
Dude, I would get out of there. Um, yeah, there are these things called piranha. So... Yeah. Let's see, what level is that spino? It is a 90. And that is a 45 Bronto. I do not have exceptional kibble yet. I have a Bronto that can poop out exceptional eggs, but she is yet to do so. So... Yeah, for the time being, uh, superior things are all we can get, and aloes are superior kibble. Um, so, if we knock one out, um, I'm just looking for one to just steal its baby. Just gank the parent and steal the baby. That's my goal. So... Yeah. Any Microraptor down here, please say no, because I need to land for a drink. And there's another XP boast over here. Gigantosaurus furiosa is an enormous predator, larger even than the Tyrannosaurus or Spinosaurus. Getting cornered or run down by a Gigantosaurus can mean certain death for nearly any creature. Fighting a Gigantosaurus directly is never a good idea, as its rage rapidly grows with every hit it takes. With this rage, it builds increasing reserves of energy to use making its iron-jawed bites progressively more deadly and enhancing its stamina. Add to this the fact that its huge body also enables it to take a tremendous amount of punishment, and you have a creature that is generally better avoided or outsmarted than attacked head-on. Taming Gigantosaurus is a dangerous prospect. Its rage reaction, even when tamed, can sometimes cause it to briefly turn on members of its own tribe. Indeed, it may even throw off its rider, if it has been sufficiently angered. And yet, the sheer size and immense power that the Gigantosaurus possesses means that some factions endeavor to tame it as a fear-inducing capital beast of war, even at great risk. Okay. No aloes. I'm gonna fly over the top of this mountain. If there are any owls in the area, we will hear them, because owls are very noisy. But I'm not seeing any. Is that another XP thing? No. I know there's more XP on this mountain, but we're not on the hunt for XP. I mean, sure, if we see some, we're going to grab it, but... Let's see. Lots of Dimorphodon out here today. Not seen any aloes. That is strange. This is a good spot for aloes too. This is a very good spot for aloes. Actually, there's nothing out here. That is very odd. Huh. We'll head to the edge of the tundra. Maybe we can see something.
I know Perlovia are a thing, so I gotta stay up high for this. Okay, I'm seeing Argents. Uh, we're not looking for Argents, we're looking for Aloes. Gotta remember to periodically save the game. Always remember that. And who knows, if we can't find any aloes, maybe we could find some megatherium. Ooh, Megatherium, but that would be awesome because those guys are beasts. Oh my goodness, that would be awesome. More XP. Please nothing come and eat me unless it's an aloe because I want to see aloes. All the aloes are hiding today. There's the explorer note. Or the dossier. Maxima perfectly embodies the element of surprise. Though nanictodopids such as Pelovia were once thought to be herbivores, I discovered that this creature is in fact a patient hunter of the most intelligent sort. After burrowing beneath the jungle floor, Pelovia enters a state of hibernation and can go extended periods without any food. When some unfortunate creature eventually wanders by, Pelovia bursts forth from the ground, tearing into its prey with its large canines before the victim can react. Though Pelovia is ill-suited to the life of a mount, its usefulness in staging an ambush or as a village guardian cannot be understated. With a tamed pack of Pelovia, one could assemble a literal organic minefield of deadly claws and teeth. However, any ambushes using Pelovia must be planned well in advance, as it will refuse to hibernate if it senses any threat nearby. Now what do we have down here? Okay, that was a dossier. What have we got here? Okay, I forget what those are called. Um, should have put that into health, but hey, a little extra weight won't kill. Let's see here in the mosh pit if we have anything. How am I hot in the tundra? Man, there is no life out today. There's always something around here, though. Okay, we got Ankies. We've already got Ankies back at base. We got Argents. We've already tamed Argents. We just have stuff we've already tamed. Really? Huh. Well, maybe I'll clear y'all out. Here, come over here. It'll be some good XP for me. Thank you. 
also 55. Okay. Yeah. Oh, yeah, we are taking these guys down. No problem. Claws. Let's see. Throw that out. Yeah. And whatever prime meat doesn't spoil, we will cook up back at base to go towards the prime meat jerky. That is so odd that I'm not seeing anything today. You got Pegos and Dodos, but I'm not looking to tame those. I don't have a Dodo, but I'm not looking to tame one. Is that theory? No, it's a Tronodon stuck in a rock. I'm not looking to tame a Tarakodon either. Hmm. Maybe this side of the volcano will have something for me. Adult out. Adult aloes with babies, please. Whoa, this is kind of... That's cool. Astros, I can hear a couple of raptors. And we're back here where we started. With no progress. That's a shame. It's a real shame. <gasps> Megatherium! Hey! Ooh, and a dire bear. It's a 75 dire bear. That's 110 Megatherium. What level's that other one? There you are. 25. 110 isn't so bad. But I only have one train. Oh, yeah, that's right. Pfft. I have a long neck now. Doi. But does not hit that hard. Can I Argent pick up a Megatherium? I just want to see. Oh, I see a Moose also. No. Oh, that's a level 20. Moose are really good though. We really need to get a Moose. Can we pick up Gallimimus now? No, we cannot. We still cannot pick up Gallimimus. Is that a Sarko? Oh, it's a turtle with a baby. That's a Guanadon. It's a level 5. Gallimimus have babies with them? This one doesn't. Yeah. 
You know, I could just wait here, see if something cool comes out of the forest, because there's a lot of cool stuff in there. The only downside are all the thylas on the trees. There weren't thylas everywhere. Ooh, another uh, moose. 25, but you're beat up, which means there's something bad around. But you lived. Either, either you lived or you managed to outpace whatever beat you up. Snake. Just now that we're in the swamp. Ooh, hey, Parasaur. I need a better long neck for Parasaur, though. Those guys have a bunch of torpor. Raptor again. Is that a sheep they're chasing or a moose? That's a moose. Okay. Can Iguanodon be picked up by Argents? Iguanodon can be picked up by Argents. Okay, that's good to know. What do we have up here? We have a Tapajar. Is it that level 5? Or is it a new one? It's a level 10. Well, that's not much better. And now it's raining. And this has been a pretty long episode. Um, so yeah, I think I'm gonna end it here. Ooh. Oh, a Baryonyx! Oh, we totally need a Baryonyx. Please be high level. No, not a 20... Just no luck today. By the time we get to that yellow drop, it'll be gone. I'm gonna land here for stamina. Oh, Calicotheriums. I do have a beer barrel going, but I don't think I have any beer yet. And you two are low level. There are there any terror birds? High level terror birds around here? It's a 45. That's a Troodon. And you still can't see that well with the spyglass. Hesperornis, pain the butt to tame. Bigfoot. Oh, level five. Dire bear is going to kick its butt. Ooh, Microraptor. Not a good thing to pick on. Who's going to win? Okay, so Bigfoot and the bear are buddies. That's good to know. We discovered that Bigfoot and bears are buddies. Sort of. Right. So yeah, that's going to do it for today. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I know it was more of a long play style, but yeah, I couldn't really think of anything else to do but search for aloes. Um, so yeah, aloe search failed for today, but there's always next time. So <gasps> another Baryonyx. Ooh, is this worth it? Please be worth it. I know Argents cannot pick up Baryonyx anymore. Ah, oh, it's just a 50. Man. It'd be great to get a Baryonyx. Yeah. 
All right. I'll see you guys next time.